Greetings, Mech Warriors. This is part two of two of the walkthrough for the Battletech Roster Builder 3.0 application. If you uh, missed the first part, you might want to go back and see it. If you've already seen it, welcome to this one where we're actually going to uh, build a roster. So you ready to go? All right, let's get started here. So we have roster, and we can do a new roster. We can print, reprint an existing roster or delete an existing roster. So let's go ahead and select new roster. And this top part here is all filters for the pool of units that we want to do. So first of all, uh, I wanted to show you that I'm using my profile, so the Mark profile is active. Kenny is no longer active, um, and his de my default roster size is 8,000 points with a 1% variance and a 44-44 default year of battle. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to change that 8 to a 12, so I'm going to be building a 12,000 point roster. That's real easy. And uh, I'm going to leave this set at experimental rules. So, and here is the different types of uh, units that you can have. You can include or by unchecking exclude any of these from the pool that's being built along with uh, my different organizations. I have seven there. So I can include or exclude any. Once I have these four steps set the way I like it, I can generate the unit pool. And here is all 244 of my units. And I can use these buttons here to move back and forth so I can see all of my units and if you notice they're color coded so and these numbers up here tell you exactly where you are so I'm going to show you all the different things you can do with this first of all you can have up to 12 units in this roster regardless of the point values uh, but of course you're looking at your point values not how many units so I'm going to do a Bargast and a Battlemaster. If you see a unit in green like this, this means that they are a C3 unit. And it can be a C3 Master or C3 Slave, Boosted Master, Boosted Slave. It doesn't matter as long as it can be part of a C3 network. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and come over here and I've got a glory fire support tank I'm also going to throw in there and I'm going to come back over here and you'll notice these two are in blue this means that if you look at the uh, the pop-up here these are improved C3 units uh, and then let's see here I'm going to come over here and I'm going to pick a battle armor. And I'm also going to round off this list with uh, an aircraft. So here is your gunnery piloting scores. Here is your battle value. Here is a, for battle armor, for C3 networks, and aircraft ordnance. So we're going to start off by setting up the C3 networks, and you can have up to three C net, C, three C3 networks uh, in this roster. And when you select one or two or three, you can look down here, and it says C3 network one status is inactive. Why is that? Because I only have one slave in there. You got to have at least one slave and one master and yes you uh, if you look in the book for the different uh, configurations 
this will automatically take care of it. It will figure it all out and it will assign BV and it will recognize any boosted pairs, boosted master, boosted slave, and give that their 7% instead of the normal 5%. So I'm going to add another C3 slave, which is the glory. And that's now part of the network. And notice these points haven't gone up yet. And C3 network status one is still inactive. So when I throw this battle master on here, it completes the C3 network. All these points jump up appropriately. And it now says C3 network one status is active. Okay, so now we have these two C3i machines, the Gurkha and the Shootist, and let's just try to put this guy on network one, and because you cannot mix regular C3 and C3i, it now says network one status is illegal, and it will not let you uh, move on from this. So we're going to send this guy over to network two, and Network 2 says it's inactive because there's only one unit on there. So we got to add a second unit. And it is now active. So another thing we're going to do is we're going to buff the, the Battle Master Pilot. We're going to give him a 2-3. And again, everyone's points change. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the battle armor. You can set up to uh, four, five, or six guys in your squad. We're going to set it to six. And last but not least, the Shilon with external ordinance. So we click on it and we find out that clean, he's a 6'9". And of course the speed drops one for every five external ordinances or fraction thereof. So as soon as I set a high X, it drops to 5'8". And I'm going to give him a total of three high X's and two laser guided. And notice if I drop another one on here, we'll put a cluster. He drops to a 4-6. But we're not going to do that. So once we have our external ordinance on here, we can close the window. And everything's all set. We look over here and it says roster total is 12,106. It says I'm 106 points over, but I'm a 1% variant. So I can actually be uh, uh, 12,120 points to be considered within that variance. I am on target. And when you're on target, you get a button down here that says print roster. So let's go ahead and hit that. And it says, greetings, Mech Warrior. I see you've assembled your forces and are ready to proceed to the battlefield. Give me a name. So we're going to call this demo roster. And these are actually three different things that can print. If you unselect these, they will still be generated, but they will not be sent to your printer. If it's checked, it will go to your printer immediately. So I've already had mine printed, so I'm just going to say off to the printer. And my files are being generated. And don't you know, here they are. So this is your uh, roster sheet. This is what you would put with your uh, record sheets. And it tells you everything you need to know. 
you know uh, the organization it came from, be it Group W, Group W Vehicle Battalion, 101st Irregulars, uh, or whatever organizations you have. It tells you your pilot, your speed, your BV, and it has notes like this Bargus is part of C3 Network 1, the Gurkha is part of C3 Network 2, the Battle Armor has six Battle Armor in squad, and the Shylone, it, uh, it has a 5-8 move uh, with Ordnance, because it says 6-9 here, but because it has three high X and two laser guided, it has a 5-8. So we had a target roster size of 12,000 with a 1% variance and 12,106 points and a total of seven units. Now our second PDF is what I use to help with battle calculations and if you notice here everything has their points and then in parentheses below it half points so here's your roster and what you do is you write down your opponents uh, stuff over here their their name their points uh, and total is for the figuring at the end so the disposition we have okay Forced withdrawal off board, dead, or forced withdrawal. And forced withdrawal, I think, is page 137 of Total Warfare. You can look it up. I translate it out to be a, an outbreak of common sense. So, uh, you can come down here and calculate points. So, if it's not in forced withdrawal, you've circled OK you get 100% of its battle value. If it's uh, in forced withdrawal and it's still on the board, you mark it as FW, you don't get anything, and your opponent gets 50% of that BV. Uh, forced withdrawal off board, FWOB, you get 50% of the points, they get nothing, and destroyed is dead, they get all of it. So then you would write those numbers down here after circling those and figuring it out. And then you could total up yours here, do the same for your opponent. And if you look here, it says margin of victory, and it gives you a difference between uh, the, the, two, uh, the two totals. And... Oh, I was wrong. Force withdrawal was found on Total Warfare, page 258. So, and it tells you everything you need to do. The third thing is if you want to take notes of a battle, like I do when I do battle reports for the BattleTechZone.com, uh, here I have turn numbers, 0, 1, and 2, since generally a lot doesn't happen in those turns. Uh, turn zero would be to note any special setups, uh, and then turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven, and you can use the back of the sheets if it goes longer than that. So that's uh, your paper output, and that is the Battletech roster builder in, in total. I've shown you all the functions. You've seen it work. Now go ahead, go forth, and uh, be victorious in battle.